welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to replace the CMOS battery in my IBM ThinkPad 755C. So um, let's get started. I bought uh, five uh, CMOS batteries in a bulb on AliExpress. I will um, give you the link in the description. Nevertheless, that is not a sponsored video. So, and at the moment, I'm not sure if the batteries are um, of any good. So I will keep you posted if the battery dying very quickly. That is a CR2032 battery and it has already a connector coming with it. So I hope it um, will fit. Looks pretty good. So let's uh, fire up the um, ThinkPad. You are probably familiar with the um, error you are getting when you're starting uh, a ThinkPad with a faulty um, battery. So just for test purposes I will uh, power up the ThinkPad and look if uh, any errors are coming up. And I expect that there are errors. Yeah, so as you can see there are two errors. Uh, one error is um, we can see it now better. One error is uh, 00161 and another error is 00163. So these both errors recurring uh, on a faulty CMOS battery. So um, I'm now going to change the battery and hopefully the error will disappear. First of all, I'm going to open the um, ThinkPad. That's pretty easy. There are two uh, switches you have to pull in your direction. And then you can open it. I hope you can see everything. Probably going to put it in this direction. Put something under it. So the CMOS battery is uh, under the floppy disk drive. First, you have to um, take the floppy disk drive out. There's this latch here, you have to, to pull it. And here it comes. So it's only one screw and afterwards you can take the battery out and voila, this is a, it must be the CMOS battery and this battery is the battery to buffer the memory during the change of the main battery. So now I'm um, trying to take out both batteries because you don't need this anymore and there's only a risk of uh, leakage. So 
hope you can see the battery. This is and this is a CMOS battery. If you look on under the PCB, there are three uh, um, ports where you could uh, probably put in a battery, and the CMOS battery is in the middle. So uh, it's, it's not possible to show it to you, but um, yeah, right here. So when I compare the um, the plugs, they are um, they are a bit different, and so for the sake of originality, I'm going to uh, resolder the the battery and. Um, change the plugs and put uh, this on the newer battery so that it looks authentic so that um, will only take a few moments <music> soldered the cable on the CMOS battery. So now I'm still getting the error. So there are two uh, possibilities. Um, I made something wrong or um, I still have to to set the correct date and then probably the error will disappear.
and as you can see now the error is gone so the only reason I had the error was that I had to set the BIOS clock correctly because before I changed the battery the BIOS clock was uh, set incorrectly so now I changed the battery and um, set the BIOS clock so everything is uh, working fine now so that is uh, was the quick repair of the CMOS battery of uh, ThinkPad 755C and I used this um, simple um, CMOS batteries which I bought for uh, very cheaply like uh, 50 cents uh, one battery and I replaced the cable because if you are going to look for sp the special CMOS battery cable um, this could be uh, pretty expensive so um, I uh, went a different route and replaced the cable so probably that's also something for you I hope you uh, like my video um, and you like my channel I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel because I'm uh, uploading regularly interesting retro tech videos so see you soon on my channel and bye.